The main purpose of the project was to uh, improve the livelihoods of uh, farmers uh, in Arusha area, mainly targeting those growing uh, bananas on subsistence level, and then use a microcredit to uh, diffuse the technology. There were many problems in uh, Arusha uh, and Kilimanjaro, and indeed the whole of Tanzania and East Africa region on banana growing, because um, traditionally farmers use suckers from mother plants to plant bananas. Now this method transfers all the diseases and pests from the mother plant to uh, the sucker that is planted. So the farmer starts from a disadvantaged position of using material that is not very clean. Other traditional crops were not fetching good markets. So poverty and food insecurity were creeping in and they wanted to see how best they can lift themselves up. I decided to take up the TC Banana project because I saw the successes from a person who had started the project and I thought this could bring me more benefits than horticulture. The tissue culture technology is a form of biotechnology uh, involving a multiplication of cells in uh, a laboratory or conditions that are sterile. It's more or less like uh, photocopying a document. When you photocopy a document, you get something very close and similar. In fact, you don't change anything. So with tissue culture techniques, you get the tissues of the plants, as uh, the name suggests, take them through the laboratory, and they multiply themselves through uh, some media or some food. They're given some food, they multiply themselves, and you actually get the same original uh, material that you had before. Only this time, it has passed through a process of cleaning, a process of addition of uh, nutrients, so the end product has more vigor and it can, it, it can withstand a lot of other environmental uh, conditions in the field, challenges, than uh, you have the traditional banana. We were three partners. I say the lead partner and the project manager, for that matter, of these three institutions. Seliani Research Institute, which is a government institution, is uh, offering the technical advice on how to grow the bananas. And uh, the last one, we, uh, Microfinance, MBD, consultants, we provide the microcredit. The partnerships have worked well. I wouldn't say we have had major difficulties or challenges in the partnerships. Farmers learn about the technology through an approach uh, we have been using, which is the Farmer Field School approach. Farmers get together in groups, then they are taught about the different stages of uh, managing uh, the tissue culture plantless from the time they plant, the size of hole, the spacing, desaccharying, all the way to post-harvest handling. Initially it was uh, difficult uh, because uh, people didn't believe that uh, that small plantlet could become a big banana like we are seeing here. But after few people started, and a few people saw that it is becoming now a huge banana tree, a huge banana plant coming out of the small plantlet which came in in the first instance. So people started to get interested in when they saw how healthy the plant is compared to the indigenous one. <laughs> The traditional banana takes a year and a half from planting up to harvest. Bunches are very small compared to TC bananas and you could not make any profit. The difference is big. TC banana farming helps a person in a very short time. This technology has got a lot of advantages. Eh? One, one advantage is, is that you have um, a clone, a type of banana, which is marketable in, in many areas. And then 
there is uh, something we call it's uniformity. I mean, once you plant TC bananas, eh, then all of them will be uniform. It means in one hectare, if you planted uh, 1,000 bananas, then when they are ready, you have 1,000 bunches per, per stool. The benefits I have from the TC Banana Project are many. I have increased income for my children's school fees, and this season I had money to plant other crops, and other money is spent on household necessities. We brought the people together uh, into groups, uh, economic groups, that is one key aspect. They are now starting to learn the culture of having the microcredit within the community. It has empowered us as women. From the profit I make from the TC bananas, I as a woman am now able to assist my husband when he has nothing. The farmers have been able to uh, get exposure to a number of uh, products uh, that uh, you could make out of banana other than selling uh, the fresh fruit. For example, farmers are aware now that uh, you can make banana flour. There is a, a company in uh, Tanzania we are collaborating with called uh, Nire Fami uh, Limited, uh, producing very good, uh, high quality flour. It's already commercial and uh, our farmers have uh, started delivering some of uh, bananas to Nire Fami for banana flour. The project faced a number of challenges. One, uh, most of our farmers depend on the rains. Now, severe drought or change, uh, drastic change in environmental and weather patterns have affected our farmers quite a lot. Just last year, we had a severe drought that um, took a long time, over five months, and most of the orchards uh, dried up. For this project to expand uh, regionally and benefit more and more farmers who are in need, one, we need to assure accessibility of uh, planting material at the time when the farmer requires. So the way to go is to establish uh, tissue culture, hardening and distribution nurseries, uh, which are well placed and easily accessible to the farmers. Adoption rates in uh, Tanzania have been very encouraging. We started off with uh, about uh, 300 farmers. Uh, currently, uh, we have more than 5,000 farmers. They, they used to, to be producing nine tons per, per, per hectare per year, but now they are able to, to, to produce more than 30 tons per hectare per year. <laughs> 